Patty is with us in Washington. Hi, Patty, how are you? Hi, Dave, and thank you for your service. We have listened to you for years, so we are debt-free. And cool. we just thank you for your service. Well, thank you. Um, you're welcome. Um, my husband and I are both retired. I'm 65, he's 73, and our annual income is 50000 a year between his Social Security and retirement. Mm-hmm. My question is... Um, should I defer my Social Security? Um, I'll be able to draw 2000 a year uh, a month next year when I'm 66. Mm-hmm. Or should I defer mine and draw half of his, which would be about 750 a month, um, and then draw m- mine would be about 3000 when I'm 70? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we do have 50000 in savings, 65000 in a 401k. Mm-hmm. Um, and we need to get with an ELP and get those um, into some mutual funds. Right yeah. now, they're just they're not drawing anything really. So I know I well, need to do Well, there's two that. two ways of looking at it. Okay, if you delay it uh, and get three thousand, and then you live a long, long time, um, you know, you probably come out ahead that way. The longer mm-hmm. you live, the better that plan is. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Mathematically, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's a better yeah. plan anyway, but but it's a better <laughs> plan for the math. Then the yeah. other the other aspect of it is if you went ahead and started taking it now, basically you've got about $50,000. 2 years of $2,000 a month would be $48,000. Right. Okay. That $48,000 invested if it made 10% would make about 5 or 600 bucks a month. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. roughly. And so yeah. s- somewhere in that range. And so it won't quite make up the difference. But here's the other thing. When you die, that $50,000 is in your estate. Uh, when you die with Social Security, you get nothing. And well, so I- if you were willing yeah. to bank all of it into good mutual funds, it probably is better to go ahead and take it and bank it. Okay. Now, obviously, okay. taking it and spending it, there's no mathematical advantage to that at all. Right. And you don't need right. the money, is what you're telling me. So, right. So it, it's just a question yeah. of the math. Now, the, 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 that is offset somewhat the longer you live. The, mm-hmm. the first, the first plan. The, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you live to 95, the first plan is going to come out better. But if you live to 75 or 80, my plan is going to come out. The, taking the money now is, and banking, it's going to come out better. So right, I right. generally okay. say take it and bank it, but it's not okay. like there's an open and shut case of which way to do it necessarily. Either way is going to be okay, especially given the fact that you guys are living on less than you make. But I like having the cash in my name instead of in the government's name. And by pulling that two years worth of income, setting that $48,000 or so into a mutual fund, that money's mine forever and ever. And if somebody, Congress decides they're going to chop on Social Security to try to get things to balance or something, I don't know that they're going to. I'm not predicting that. But you don't have any of that risk then. It's your money. You now own it. You're not depending on them to give you a raise or do whatever else. So I like the idea of taking it early and investing it because I like control. It's that simple. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. And so you have to break the cycle. You have to flip this thing on its head and make it behave. You've got to get so fired up and wired up that your broke friends think you've lost your mind.